Now, long lines are becoming common at the gas pump. Over 1,000 gas stations are running out of gas and the result of a Russia-based ransomware attack. The impact is being felt all up and down the East Coast. Homeland Security officials shared a new bulletin, calling it, quote, the most devastating ransomware attack, at least on critical infrastructure in the U.S. to date. Energy analysts say demand for gasoline rose, this time nearly 20% nationwide on Monday, and that's compared to just a week ago. The Colonial Pipeline is a 5,500-mile network, and it delivers nearly half of all fuel to the East Coast, and that also includes jet fuel, prompting a response from Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm. She says the pipeline hasn't decided when to restart the flow safely. Close of business tomorrow, Colonial will be in a position to make the full restart decision. Uh, but even after that decision is made, it will take a few days to ramp up operations. This pipeline has never been shut down before. And it has been four days since the Colonial Pipeline revealed its attack, saying that its systems were compromised. But the FBI has identified a gang of hackers based in Russia. They're known as, quote, dark side and the culprit of the attack. But attacks targeting the U.S. are up nearly 300 percent this year, and that's according to the Department of Homeland Security ransomware. Hackers extorted roughly $350 million, all from U.S. companies and consumers.